Capecast. Welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're at Barnstable High School, where this weekend, all the squeaking and squawking that we hear behind us will be whipped into a perfect musical souffle. Michael, we have got a musical cornucopia happening in the rooms and quarters right outside us, and there's a big thing happening this weekend. Could you sketch it out for us? Yes. It's the music festival for 2009. Students have auditioned from 13 public schools and private schools. And we put together a festival of four performing ensembles with 300 kids. Two. What's the tough part about kids from different schools coming together, different instruments in a big show? I think it's just getting everyone to play together at the same time, but because we have so many talented people, it's getting everyone integrated together. Sammy, the mallets, you gotta whack them in time, it's complicated. How do you get good at that and how do you like it? I practice the basics first, I do downstrokes, upstrokes, and just practice hitting and getting the perfect sound quality. And I like it because you can c capture any dynamic with it. Well, John, you are behind a mighty set of kettle drums. It must be a position of power. Um, a little bit. I mean, it's all about the music and the band as a whole. But What's the thrill you get from playing kettle drums? I don't know. I mean, just the sound that comes from it and just the whole entire thing about it. I mean, it's the only drum with a definite pitch, and it's just a great instrument. And they bring a lot of low sound and it's, you know, not very prominent, but it's like when you need a lot of emphasis on a roll or like a high point, it's like you hear that low sound of copper in the back and it's the kettle drum. Trombones, more, more air. Trombones, see the exit signs? I want you to put your sound on the exit signs. Here we go again. The performance is this Saturday, which is February 7th, and it's going to start at 2 p.m. in the Barnstable Performing Arts Center. And how much does it cost to go? It's eight dollars for tickets and there'll be plenty of tickets available. So you can just show up at quarter two and there'll be a ticket for you. We've never sold out. There's 1,440 seats and it's, it's worth seeing. These are the best and brightest kids on Cape Cod. Cape Cast. Yes. 